Good day everyone, like rats off a sinking ship. Uh, as that ship goes down, the rats know when to get out and to get off while other people are still trying to save things. I'm one of those people that's still on the ship trying to save things. But uh, many of the rats are leaving and in this article from Daily Investor it says wealthy taxpayers flooding out of South Africa. Now this is actually taking place. And what this does is it puts the country in a situation where the tax, uh, what tax? The tax just decreases this massive uh, behemoth of a government and a government administration that needs uh, an insensatiable amount of funds is going to lose the people that fund it. And this whole charade is going to come to an end and it's inevitable. And this is why we need system change, but more on that later. So wealthy taxpayers flooding out of the country, South African taxpayers are leaving the country in their thousands, shrinking its already small tax base and threatening the government's future revenue. So I've told you many times before, the government will come to a fall. There is no option but for that to happen. And they can see the writing is on the wall unless they can create more taxpayers out of thin air. And that's going to come from business or people being able to generate wealth. Uh, they don't stand a chance. So their days are numbered and they do know this. So they know that they have to do things in a very short space of time. They're not going to do any development in water. They're not going to do any development uh, with regards to power supply, electricity supply, because they need to scrape every last bit of the pennies in corrupt deals together for themselves. Uh, this is feedback from BDO tax specialist uh, Beatri Gaus and David Warnicke, who analyzed the implications of the finance minister's budget speech for taxpayers over the next few years. Historically, high earning taxpayers have borne the brunt of tax hikes and the policy and policy changes to redistribute wealth and bolster social programs. Redistribution of wealth is just another word for, for theft. It's stealing from other people. However, in recent years, there's been growing discontent among high income earners who argue that excessive taxation stifles entrepreneurship and undermines economic growth. This is obvious. But because of the policies of the current government, if you can call them a government, um, is not sustainable. It never was. And it's now coming to an end. And uh, th those of us that stay behind, the people on the ship trying to steady it or try and uh, stopping it from going under completely, we have a work cut out for us. And ch changing and overhauling the political system we find ourselves in, the electoral system, uh, the schooling system, the judicial system is vital to save the ship from going under and getting some bulge pumps going or some big pumps going to pump that rotten water out so that we can actually get afloat again. So uh, it goes into a lot of detail. I'll put a link to the article in the description below, giving you an idea of how many, okay, have actually left. So we have gone down from 7.4 million taxpayers to 7.1. That's a drop of 300,000. And those are some of the wealthiest taxpayers in the country. The next article I want to talk about is alarm bells for middle class and rich South Africans. They are getting into bad debt. And uh, this is actually something I've spoken about many times before, but new data shows that South Africa's m mid to high income households are increasingly defaulting on their loans as consumers across the spectrum grow desperate for more credit to cover their costs. And it speaks of... 2 trillion rand in household debt across the country. And most of those are on bonds and car payments and uh, credit cards, etc. So product specific metrics also change for the worst year on year with home loans and credit cards showing the largest deterioration. Home loans, 60% deterioration, 60%. Credit cards, 14%. So people are going to be out of homes soon. And the problem is there's no one else to buy their homes. There's no one else because this is, these are affluent people. So just understand what is happening here. The government will collapse. There is no way that the government can carry on in the current form. 
And when the DA and the EFF says that we are the alternatives, we can solve things for you. And I don't ever uh, care what pact they call it. It cannot save the country in the current system because the people on the ground need to change. Changing the party is not going to change anything. This governance system was set up to fail the country from the beginning, planned since the 70s, as I have evidence for this. We can see the evidence for it, but very specific meetings took place, some of them that I'm privy to, that discussed all this happening so that global interest groups can come here and save our country and put a full monitor track and trace new world order system in place and that's the last thing i want and the last thing that you need if you enjoy your life in south africa at the moment to varying degrees these people will stop you from having the ability and the freedom to do what you are doing even if you are financially sound and you have no debt those people that do have debt and there's a lot of them two trillion rands worth they're in serious trouble right now and that trouble is increasing so the economy of a country like i said before cannot collapse the rothschild created economy can collapse but as long as there's people that can work that can produce things we will be fine the government will not so we need to prepare ourselves for when that inevitable inevitable government fall happens because we cannot out of every tax rand pay literally 60 cents towards government salaries we cannot do that and this is government administration these are not the politicians we cannot pay 20 cents in every tax rand towards debt repayment only leaving 20 cents or 20 percent of the tax that is gathered for the people of South Africa. In no country in the world can this work. So rats off a sinking ship. People will leave the country if they are able to. And they are doing so and taking their tax money with them. Thanks for watching this video. And just remember, in the description below this video, you will find where you can support Ohm's campaign for 2024 so we can get a voice into parliament to say these harsh words. This is vital that we get Ohm the resistance to this global narrative and the fact that our government and the system has sold us out. Get that voice into parliament so that we can start getting into the mainstream and making people realize that one day things will happen to you so that you realize you cannot support the DA, the Freedom Front Plus and all these other parties anymore because they are fun funded by people with the same agendas. Go and look at the party funding and see who gives them money. Thanks so much. Please share this with your friends and family.